Kenya's biggest conversation being a Thursday is the day for Justice Thursday and we've got two guests in the studio. We're talking about alternative justice systems, hashtag Justice Thursday. We have with us in the studio the Chief Magistrate at the Nakuru Law Courts, Lillian Arika, and the Sub-County Commander for Nakuru East, Elena Kabukuru. This is the Sub-County Police Commander for Nakuru East, Elena Kabukuru. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. good morning. It's good to have you in the Situation Room. Karibuni sana. Here in Nairobi, Munona Kuna Mvua. How is it in Nakuru? <laughs> Cold with intermittent rains. Yeah. Yes. It's good. It's good. Ah, you people are blessed. As it is cold with intermittent cold. <laughs> <laughs> this is warmer than uh, Nakuru. Nakuru. Nakuru is warmer than Nairobi. Yeah. Nakuru is warmer. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But, but it's... Uh, wetter than Nairobi. Yes, of course it is. Okay. Your honor. <laughs> <laughs> the chief magistrate's uh, court in Nakuru is busy. We're going to be talking about the alternative justice system shortly. Yes. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of work that, you know, of course has happened here. We hosted um, the Honorable Justice Professor Jerome Goge yes. last year. Uh, just before the launch of the alternative justice system mm -hmm. uh, countrywide with the launch in uh, where was it it was somewhere in Kajiado county mm -hmm. it was in Kajiado. yeah and and he, we, he told us about the whole idea and the concept and the thinking of the chief justice and uh, professor john goge and others on what the alternative justice system is going to be mm -hmm. so are you about to launch one in nakuru or has it been in operation in nakuru we are going to launch uh, what we call the county action plan on uh, 16th of may on monday mm -hmm. the honorable the chief justice will be coming to nakuru law courts to launch the same so as a build up towards the launch we've been having a series of activities mm -hmm. sensitization forums and training we've had a sensitization forum for the we've had sensitization forums for uh, the bar bench mm -hmm. the court users committee and we've also done training for the clergy as mm -hmm. a build-up. Mm -hmm. Because this concept of AJS, it is there, it is operational, but most people have no idea on what it is. Has it been operational in Nakuru? Yes, it has been operational. How, how does it work? Um, the concept of AJS is alternative justice system. Njia mbadala ya kutatua kesi kotini. So if you see uh, people when have problems on the ground, eh, they go to the chief. People who have their chamas, they have disputes, they solve the disputes. Mm -hmm. People who have problems in church, they see the pastors. Mm -hmm. And those cases are solved and the people don't necessarily have to come to court. Mm. So that has been going on. So what the AJS policy now wants to do is to get that data. Um, a study carried out a few years ago shows that um, only 21% of those who feel aggrieved come to court with their cases. Mm. 79% when Avumilia come our Kenya, they don't mm. come to court. Mm. Or they try out other ways of solving the They resolve. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Chief, yes. Such kind of things. And others just give give up. So when you talk of backlog in the court, you're only talking about 21%. Percent and we are overwhelmed. So we want now to popularize the alternative justice system mm. so that we take care of the 79% and hopefully make the 21% even less. If you look at the vision of the Chief Justice on social transformation and access to justice, popularly called the Stage, mm. basically it says, let's have parties first trying to solving their cases amicably before coming to court. So what AJS is trying to do mm. is not to regulate. It's to formalize it. Huh? Is it? Sorry, it's not to regulate or formalize. Mm. We just want to see what it is that they are doing and then ensure that they are um following human rights policies if i can give a quick example we have a case in western kenya mm. where a young boy who is a suspect suspected to have stolen a radio was crucified yeah literally crucified yes it was in the in the media by who um, since oh, yes, the case yes. is in court yes, let's not talk yeah. about it okay yeah. aliba radio and what was story. crucified on a stone yeah. on, a, on a tree mm. so if we have maybe elders sitting down to resolve a case and that is the solution they come up with we are trying now to sensitize to ensure human rights is followed so ajs mm. is going on out there okay so 
Yes. You, you mentioned a group of people, among others who you are sensitizing. Yes. Uh, do you have a curriculum? Because if you are going to talk to, say, church elders, yes. if you're going to talk to community leaders, yes. if you're going to talk to gang members, yes. how do you ensure that everything is standardized and that the message and the understanding of what you expect is the same? Okay. So we have the uh, national, um, we call it the NASI. Mm -hmm. The National Steering Committee on Implementation of Alternative Justice System yes. is the national body. Yes. And Justice Professor Ngugi is the national chairperson. Mm -hmm. So, and they have a secretariat. So this is the body that com has come up with the framework and there is a policy on everything AJS mm. to ensure that standardization and everything is on course. So um, it is hoped that in every county, the CUC and the presiding judges will have their own county action plan for each county. And so mm. the National Steering Committee on AJS is ensuring there is training and the sensitization and everything is. So, so what exactly are people trained in? That's actually what I'm asking. We give uh, the background on what is AJS, mm. what the judiciary is doing mm. about um, promoting, protecting AJS. Mm. We talk about um, documentation because when they do AJS out there, sometimes data is not captured. Mm. We look at enforcement and the remedies they come up with. Mm. Is it um, in terms of human rights? Mm. Is it up to scratch? Yes. Madam Kabukuru, yes. just like um, the Chief Magistrate is saying, people go to various other levels to seek to resolve grievances. Yes. Of course, police yes. is one of the first stops. Yes. When they say to Kutane Mbele, the place they mean is. <laughs> Yes. Either I'm coming to complain directly or I have a friend who's a police officer who I'm going to use to make sure yes. that I get my justice. Yes. You deal with these such cases, of course, yes, on a daily course, basis. Yes. What is a caseload for such, for issues that come to you and you can see this one, we can actually sit down with the people and resolve before taking them to, to the I, judiciary. Uh, so you know that... Uh, the first place for the report is the report office where there are OCSs. So they are the first recipients of the cases. So when they, they are received at the police station, the OCS uh, sometimes sort those cases which are not serious, except the deformed murder and robbery you can also work that level. And at times, uh, you find out somebody want to go to the court even if the OCS tries to, to solve. Mm -hmm. They say they want to go to the court. Mm. Uh, you cannot refuse them to go to the court but you try and uh, solve the cases down there at the OCS level. And you have seen it worked. At least from January up to date you have seen uh, like 300 cases be solved without necessarily going to the court. And uh, maybe the whole county is like 10,000 cases which are not uh, going to the court. And that's reducing the backlog of the case in the court. So the AGS is working mm. in the court. If you were to give a, an example, what are these cases that come, um, are reported at, at the OB desk and the OCS hears the case and is like, okay, this one, let me just hear the parties and see how we can resolve this. What are the, some of those cases where he, uh, the OCS handles? There are cases of common assault where the, the families are deformed in cases and they only want to be heard. You see the, the whole family fighting, the common assault, they are assaulting each other, but they only want to be heard. And when they go to the station level, they are heard, they are listened to. Mm -hmm. They hate people forgiving each other. So they want to be listened. Yes, I've seen them work and they, it's working. Okay. I want to come back to you, uh, Chief. Yes. Uh, we know that criminal justice law prohibits police mm -hmm. from community policing and encourages that reconciliation be done through the courts. Mm -hmm. That we know. Yes. So how does this come in place? Because we have police now doing the exact opposite. Um, what happens is, for example, eh? Uh, a, a father is annoyed by the son 
because the son has gone uh, home late and is creating disturbance, knocking the door. Mm -hmm. And so he makes a complaint to the police station mm -hmm. and the child is left uh, in, the sad, in the cells. Let's say the child not below 18 years. Mm -hmm. An adult, a young well, adult. It's a 25-year-old eh? truant. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Comes the father is drunk every day. Maybe the father is fearing for their life. Yes. Uh, so Matt, that could be a Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it means the, chi the, the child will be in the police station over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Now come Monday morning, when the OCS uh, signs the charge sheet and the child is brought to court, the same father is faced with the issue of he has to pay bond yes. for the child. For and so the, the father is faced with the situation where he says, Asira Imenda Chini, please just allow us to go and solve. We are going to take the wazes mm. to talk to this child. Mm -hmm. So just there and then, you see the OCS did not really have to register right. such a case. Mm. Like the OCPD says, they are what we call serious crimes. Mm. Issues of uh, defilement, sexual robbery, offenses, robbery. robbery. Yes. Those ones, they cannot. Go through the courts yeah. for sure. Yes. The, just allow me to say something about uh, AJS. For AJS, for somebody to participate in it, eh, both the complainant and the accused person must give consent. Okay. You cannot be forced. Mm. And then, um, just allow me to say two more things first. The Constitution mandates the judiciary to promote alternative justice system. Article 159 2C, it says the judiciary has to promote alternative means of conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. And then we have three types of AJS. I'll go th through it very fast. Mm -hmm. So we have the autonomous, we have the third party, and we have court annexed. So autonomous is like the Boda Boda Association, they solve their own cases, the Chama estate associations. They're solving their own cases and no one is bothering with them. Mm. And they don't really have to come to court. So we have what we call third party, like the police, the chiefs, mm -hmm. government institutions mm -hmm. that deal with cases and they solve some of them outside. Then the third one is court annexed. When people come to court, someone can actually say, uh, please give me a chance to speak to the complainant. Mostly these are remandees. Because they're in remand, they cannot meet the complainant. Mm. So we can refer them maybe to the probation department so that they can speak together. Yes. Mm. And after speaking and negotiating, that case is actually resolved. So we have, those are the th largely the three main types of AJS that we have. Mm. Yes. So by promoting AJS, like yes. you said, um, yes. there's about 21% of grievances end up in the courts. Yes. What is the big picture? Is the big picture to reduce this 21%? Exactly. The big picture is to reduce the 21%. Because 21% might sound very little, but those are backlog of cases. Okay. Mm. When a case is in court, um, by the time it hits the third year, that's the time we are talking about backlog. Mm. So imagine someone who comes to court the first year and if you miss a mention or a hearing, we cancelled your bond. People didn't even have fear for coming to court. So if you look at uh, time in terms of money, three years is a long time to be in court. Yeah. So we are not really worried eh? until after the three years, then we call it backlog. Mm. That is really not right. Mm. But the core of the AJS is we have cases that come to court that not need to come to court. Sometimes people report cases because they just feel disrespected mm. Mm. or somebody wants to be, a, you want an apology. You want to be heard. You want to be heard. So and in AJS, we ask, whose justice is it? Mm. Is it the justice of the OCPD? Is it the justice of the prosecutor? Is it the justice of the magistrate? Mm. Uh, Chief Magistrate. Yes, it is. The, these matters that you speak of, yes. before they get to the OCPD, OCS, and then OCPD, yes. is it not possible for these matters to have been resolved at the community level? Yes, it is very possible. Yes. And that is the group we are calling the autom autonomous. Mm. And it is actually going on right now. Mm. Mm. We have started interacting with some uh, groups in Nakuru mm. to find out what is going on so that we do not uh, invent what is already going on. Uh, so in, uh, we have the Bodaboda Association who have a membership of 53,000 members mm -hmm. in Nakuru. So you can imagine if all these people have disputes. Mm. So some of the cases they solve include... Uh, Interstage uh, conflicts, <laughs> conflicts. <laughs> abusing each other, mm -hmm. a bit of assault, theft from customers, and theft by the customers. Mm -hmm. This can quickly make a lot of cases in court. Mm. We have elders. We have interacted with the Kikuyu Council of Elders. They deal with the land cases. They deal with um, family disputes. 
boundary, small, small offenses, mm. very successfully. Allow me to say we have the group we call Smart Ladies. They have a membership of 11,000 in Akuru County. What's that, a chama or what? <laughs> Smart Ladies are the lovely ladies that we call the commercial sex workers. Mm -hmm. They are both male and female members. Mm -hmm. Their clientele is in Nakuru. What was very interesting is that they really have a properly structured system. And they resolve disputes. Like we came to Mchele, mm. um, a bit of assault, mm. what we basically call misdemeanors. Because those are cases that can quickly come es to court. Mm. Yes. But uh, when it comes to sexual offenses, those are referred to the police. Right. So we have groups that uh, deal with cases that don't necessarily need to come to court mm. and the surprising thing for us is that whatever sanctions they put mostly fines um suspension are adhered to mm. you know in kenya we have the problem of sometimes court orders are not obeyed sometimes these members obey whatever orders their groups mm. force upon them why well, i asked that question was yes. eh? okay. if you're talking about community leadership because even our police service are within the community yes mm. uh what have you found? Have you found that the units that uh, supposedly deal with these disputes, do they include, say, government officials like the police? Do mm. they include, what do we call them, county commissioners, mm. uh, the, the formerly DOs? Yeah. Do, 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 Some do, county and county uh, commissioners. Exactly. Do, mm. do they involve chiefs? Uh, chiefs? Yes. And then do they involve uh, Mijikumi? I mean... How is it constituted? Nyumbakumi, mm. eh? What do I call it? Mijikumi. Mm. I'm completely <laughs> misinformed. But I'll go kendo, kenda kumi. Or, yes. in addition to this, mm -hmm. does the community understand that the resolution that is arrived at by these groupings are binding? Or do they just see it as, kuna wazengina hapa wana sumbua sumbua, you know, ha uh, ha. What is it that the courts are doing to ensure that these groups that we're talking about actually have the muscles? So when they make a decision, someone knows it is binding. And even if you went to a court of law, yes. you'd be told it is also binding. Yes. Yes. Now that is where AJS comes in. Mm. Because these groups have been doing this dispute resolution for the longest time mm. ever. Mm. So if you go to an AJS forum, a case is sorted out by the chief or by the Boda Boda Sako. We are trying to do sensitization for them so that once you're in that forum, you don't come back to court. Mm. Because I can be your neighbor, we go before a particular forum, and I am not satisfied. So I tell you where Utakutana na Mimi Kotini, and I quickly mm. get a lawyer. So that one is litigating the case twice. So when you interact with these groups, and you tell them that through AJS, do it the right way, and so that is the final dispute resolution forum. If you are supposed to appeal in court, you can only appeal in terms of the panel was not fair. Mm. Maybe you are brought before your in-laws and you have bad blood with them. Yep. Or <laughs> mm. mostly the panel. Or they came up with a very wrong uh, decision that is against the human rights. Mm. But once you undergo AJS, that is final. And maybe this is a good opportunity to talk about the working group mm. on the Nakuru model. Mm. Okay, so the Nakuru AJS working group consists of uh, 20 different agencies. Mm -hmm. So how it started is um, in November last year, we went on a benchmarking trip to Isiolo to learn about uh, AJS. Mm -hmm. And um, we learned that uh, in Isiolo through AJS, they were able to quickly deal with the issues of terrorism as reduced and also ethnic violence. And you were like, wow. Um, we also learned about what they're doing in Othaya because of AJS through the Council of Elders and Probation, they were able to deal with Mungiki. Mungiki is not there in Othaya. Mm. We also learned about the Kajiado model where they're resolving land disputes. So as a way forward, so that it is a very useful benchmarking exercise, we formed uh, what we call the Nakuru AJS Working Group. So in this group, we are very senior people in the county. We have the ODPP prosecution, we have a uh, county probation officer, the children's probation officer, the county labor officer, we have a sheikh, we have a bishop, we have the DCC, we have the SEC, the DCC is the former DC, the SEC is the former DO, we have a civil society 
Legal Resources Foundation. We have the Kenya Prison Service. Mm. We have the OCPD who is a member. We have the OC, one of the OCSs. We have academia and mm. a journalist. Mm. So we have a nas National Land Commission. We have an elder. We have the LSK. We have the county attorney and I represent the judiciary. So that's a very powerful group. Because for AJS to work, it needs thorough Everybody stakeholder must be on board. engagement. So when we left Isiola, we were told we must do something specifically for Nakuru County. Mm. And so this group has worked very, very hard to come up with the first it's the first Nakuru is going to be the first county to launch its county action plan. Um, at the back of our minds, we have a problem in Nakuru we call CONFIRM. Mm. CONFIRM is a group of young adults, age, age of 18 to 23, 24, mm. who are involved increasingly in violent crimes. Mm -hmm. And so when they come to court and they cannot afford, afford bond terms, they go to remand. And the end is that we end up jailing them. Mm -hmm. They can't afford uh, legal fees. So what are we doing to our young generation? And you don't want them to go into organized crime. Mm. So we, at the back of our minds, we have not yet done it, but we are hoping to use AJS to deal with this issue. Because one of the other things that AJS does is to go to the, what is the root cause of the dispute or of the crime? Mm. But just coming to court, taking plea, you are found guilty, you You're go to the prison. Processed in the system. It doesn't really it doesn't help. Sort out. I'll give a quick example of, um, so somebody is assaulted eh? and you find at the end of it, eh? mm. your brother is not very happy. They'll go and throw stones at the roof of the complainant. Yep. That is creating disturbance. Yep. That's another case in brother court. Brother court. Another one, um, we now assault again the other. So we have a cycle of violence and a cycle of crimes. But so when you have AJS, maybe through the elders or through the religious groups, they sit and go to the root cause. What is it? Mm. Is it a land dispute that they are fighting about? Mm. What is the exact issue? So AJS goes to the root cause. And so once that issue is completely resolved, then that cycle of, chronic cycle of cases coming to court. Mm. This ends. group that you speak of, Yes. I grew up in Nakuru, so I, it is of concern to me. Yes. Um, is it a group that you find in one particular area or are they spread throughout Nakuru? Okay, I can be able to answer that. They are in the slums areas. Mm. In fact, they are the junior, the youth down there, in the slums area mm. in Nakuru. Mm. And the, what we have done as a team for the AGS Tandiri Justice, we have formed a team going down there now to talk to the, to the parents mm -hmm. because those children come from a family. And the, when they are there doing all the crimes they are doing, at the end of the day, they are back to their their parents. Mm. So we have started summon the parents with the the, the DC, the the chiefs, the new Bakumi up to Chief Refo. We have been talking to the parents. How do we deal with with those youth? Because as parents we are supposed to deal with our, with our children. So we have started it and uh, because there's that uh, the youth in conflict of the road. Mm. In the drugs, mm. some of them they are drug addicts. So we are trying to get uh, our solution mm. through going down to where they are and knowing what the problem and talking to the parents so that they can also be able, also be able to change the behavior of their children. Because we are even seeing a lot of the children dropouts mm. because of being involved in crime. But in the Nakuru, we are done our best in the rural AGS. We are going to, to make sure that the area, especially the, the slums areas where they are involved, mm. there will be no such a crime. Let's take a break at 28 minutes to 8. This is Kenya's biggest conversation. It's Justice Thursdays. We have with us the Honorable Lilian Arika, is the Chief Magistrate of the Nakuru Law Court. And Elena Kabukuru is the sub-county police commander for Nakuru East. We are talking about Nakuru's alternative justice system method and what they are doing to bring that justice machinani to work. Let's tell you about uh, the new Samsung. Samsung has a brand new phone, the Samsung A series, A33, A53 and A73. City, just tell them about it. 
Well, one of the amazing things about these phones mm. is that they do things that you require several phones to do. One, four cameras. You know how you stand somewhere still and take a picture? And when something is moving, you want to order it to stop before you can take a picture. <laughs> With these cameras, even if it's moving, all you need to do is click. It is. It has the capacity to segment and take these pictures and make them individual pictures. That is number one. Number two, you have a choice. A33, A53, A73. Now, we've been saying in this studio that it's actually a camera or their cameras masquerading as phones. But the truth of the matter is, it introduces a whole new concept. So instead of you simply being able to communicate on your phone, you'll be able to take world-class pictures and do a lot more. The lot more is the pictures you'll take will have such a high quality that one can even see the pores on your face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is The Situation Room. Kenya's biggest conversation, it continues with Eric Latif, Ndu Okosi, T. Muga, our guests this morning, Justice Thursday, is the Nakuru Sub-County Police Commander for Nakuru East, Elena Kabukuru, and the Honorable Lilia Narika, Chief Magistrate of the Nakuru Law Courts. We are talking about alternative justice system in Nakuru County. Uh, Madam Chief Magistrate, you had told us about the various forms of alternative justice system. You told us about the autonomous, where people have their own organizations like the border borders and such, and they deal with issues at that level. Yes, yes. You, the third party, where they go to government offices, police, chief and all. And then you'd also mentioned the third one. <clears throat> so the third one is a uh, court annexed. So um, in the court annexed system, we have cases in court where parties say, please give us a chance to speak and solve the cases out of court, which we allow. But um, what you're doing differently about uh, Nakuru County, we have now what we are calling court annexed AJS panel in a different unique way. Mm. So this is what happens. So when you tell these people, you can go and talk to the, um, there's a name you gave the elders, eh? Mujikumi, <laughs> or the chief. You know, you know, like Nakuru, Nakuru County has three different groups. We have the rural part, we have the peri-urban, and we have the cosmopolitan. Uh. So perhaps for people who live in Nakuru town, the CBD, if you mm. send them to elders, do they know where to get elders? They may not know. Mm. For people who are having succession cases, and you give them a chance to go and talk at home mm. about how to distribute the property, and you send them to the, maybe the chief, the chief could be the drinking buddy of their eldest brother, so they don't <coughs> really feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So what you have done at uh, under the working group of uh, Nakuru AJS, we have um, a system where we have a panel of professionals, about 20, who when people say they want to listen to cases, mm -hmm. we form a panel of th or three or five, so they listen to these cases within the court compound, and the court um, adapts the finding of the panel, as a judgment of the court. And this is real. So between 1st of April mm -hmm. and 10th of May, we have registered 19 cases. Remember the three years I talked about? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now the most exciting thing is we have concluded seven cases. Seven of the 19. Seven of the 19. And I'm talking up to 10th of May. Mm -hmm. So in May, we had five cases. So remember, people still don't know about AJS. AJS. So this is court being proactive. So Amrimandi is brought to you and says, Naomba nipewe na fasi nyongenem lalamishi. Mm. So through the ODPP, the complainant is told to come to court on a particular date and asked. The Rimandi or the accused person would like to speak to you. Tuone kama tutatoa ikesi. Are you willing? Because there has to be consent. Mm. Then they say, let me see. So we, because we know the date, we have paneled uh, three people to sit. And so we have an AJS suit that doesn't look like court. It's an open room, mm. just with chairs. Everyone is sitting at the same level. Mm. Each party is allowed to come with their relatives or friends. Mm -hmm. And the case is heard. For me, one of the most exciting things is we had a couple who were in remand. The husband was in the men's prison, the wife in the women's prison. Um, the plea was taken in December 2021. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't know they were a couple until April Wow. Uh -huh. You know, the cases are mentioned differently. These were two different files. Two so, different cases. Yes. Are they two different cases two different, or are they related? They're related. One oh. complainant, it is grievous harm. Okay. Okay. So having realized there is 
a man and woman in prison, their children are at home, the country is bond. So we asked, are you willing to, there's this thing called AJS, are you willing to be part of it? Mm. And we paneled uh, people to listen to the cases. Nobody will look at gender, there has to be a lady. Mm -hmm. Not all women and not all men. Mm. They had this case and uh, the complainant agreed to be compensated, mm -hmm. some amount of money, mm. not too much. And this couple went home. To me, that is justice to Wanjiko. Because when would this case have been solved? It would have taken forever. Our diaries for the year 2022 are almost over. Oh my goodness. And remember when a case comes for the first time, <laughs> there, are, there are different reasons for adjournments. Okay, so there's another one for um, threatening to kill. A son threatened to kill the mother. That is a very serious offense because mm. it might lead to murder. We don't know mm. or amputation. So the son said, I would like to speak to my mother. Give me a chance. So we quickly put another AJS panel to listen to the case. Mm. It was very emotional for them. They cried, they hugged. Uh, and they're going to now, the family members are now going to work with this. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, I think this one had also been in remand for about six months. The other thing we have seen is um, sometimes when plea is taken, because we do pleas virtually, mm -hmm. so the accused sometimes wants to say, Ningependa kupewa nafasi. Remember when you come for plea, you ni siku na somewa makosa, yep. na tunakupatia bond, ukikata, na ukikubali, then we convict you. I mean, we find you. The only response expected from you yes. is umekubali yes. umekata. So sometimes, you know, we don't always write looking down. Okay. You see, I would like to say something. Mm. Like, what do you want to say? Mlalamishi wangu So, I mean, why is the complainant there? Tumesha mm. sikizana. <laughs> so, why is the complainant? Anakuja. What do you want to say? Atujamaliza, give us time to talk. So, you know, this talking, mm. we need to give them a conducive environment mm. again we quickly panel mm. so that one is also another one that uh, was solved within a week and it's not just solving they came this was a um, spousal assault mm. the lady was beaten by the man and so when the family members came we went into what is the root cause of that spousal beating mm. and their father cried okay there's something about crying you know, in court, we don't have time for people to cry. We'll quickly maybe put the file aside, ask you to compose yourself. Because of time constraints, <clears throat> and because the magistrate is listening to the case, yeah. <laughs> you really can't go <laughs> and, and ask. Oh, no, I can assume maybe it is, uh, you're being emotive because of the case. That is oh, normal. People are not, suffering. Or maybe you didn't eat as <laughs> you came, you know. But so this panel is able to go deep. Deep. Into the into the root cause of these issues. Into the root cause of these issues. When such a panel is, when you're on panel, yes. yes, and somebody is in remand, yes, and the accuser agrees yes. to go the AJS route, yes, is this person released from remand immediately? Yes. Or do they stay until they resolve? No, no, no. So what happens is that the prison officers bring this person to court. Mm. The complainant has come to court. The, the AJS panel sits. When we started, eh, we would wait for the report because the report has to be written and signed by the panel then it is presented to court to be adapted as an order of the court mm. so within maybe three days or within five days mm. so what i have done specifically for my court on the day of the ajs panel they come to my court first then they are sent to the panel mm. when the panelists finish normally it takes two to three to four hours and people have resolved completely mm. why would this person go back to remand even one extra hour spent in remand is not, it's not good. Mm. And as they say, that the complainant, the accused person says, maybe give me two weeks to get the money, for mm. my family members to get the money so that I come back. Then we'll give you the two weeks or the three weeks. But where they have completely resolved, what when we have a case solved with, in less than 24 hours. In fact, you are saying the fastest was within three hours. Our 21% is going down. So this is AJS touching lives in a very real way. So do you wanted to ask a question? You know, the... Um, Before he asks the question. Uh, you are right. So out of this 19, we have actually <laughs> concluded eight. This is between the beginning of April and... Yes. The 11th of May. Was and the 10th of the May. The 10th of May. Yes. Justice Chap Chap. Mm. Okay. Madam Kabukuri, do you find that people who may have been arrested, you know, a complainant comes and uh, be before he even gets 
to court uh, before it gets to the part where now, you know, justice has to be called in. Are folks looking? Are they being proactive and saying, is there a way we can solve this without the intervention of police saying, is this not something that we can solve without it having going to court? Do you find that people are asking, can we do this in a different manner than going through the court system? Oh, yes. Mm. You have been experienced that, uh, especially at the, the station level. Mm. People coming in the... Uh, uh, looking away for solving, not necessarily going to the court. Mm -hmm. And then we have even the traffic cases along on the road. You find out that uh, some are coming and saying, can we solve or can we refer cases even to the insurances? Mm -hmm. So even them, they come and they ask if they can be around. Mm -hmm. Because it's the mandate of the OCS. If they are, they are there, they are reasonable and they are willing to call both parties. And then if they are willing, you give them chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't take all the cases, especially now that we have the AGS. People are willing because of even the time wasted. Mm -hmm. Their time, so now those cases that they can, when uh, somebody is at the ground level, they are around. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they have been there. We don't take all the cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, as uh, earlier, the, the way I've said, but we cannot allow the deformment, the cases, the murder, but other cases, they are out. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we are experiencing that. Mm -hmm. And then we are creating even the good ratio coexistence of the, the families and the community by of the AGS. If you listen to them, they go back there, they do the community policy, they coexist mm. yeah, down there. We create a uh, uh, good atmosphere that uh, we have solved this. In the family matters, we solve that. And we have also the, the JEDA. We have the JEDA offices on the ground at the OCS level. Mm. JEDA desks are there. We do listen to them. Okay. So, I mean, so I'm just looking at process now. Yes. Now with the AGS yes. process, yes. now from the very beginning. Okay. Yes. This clearly being an alternate justice system yes. and saying that. So... I have a grieved CT, right, yes. for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, before AGS, he would say, no, this is ridiculous. Yes. I am going to the police. Yes. So in this case, what are we saying now? That with AGS, is there another recourse or does CT still present himself to police and say this and this and this is what is going on? Mm -hmm. Ndu has done one, two, three, and then AGS comes in or... Is, I mean, very simply, is there a place you go to and say, okay, rather than going to police, I will go through this alternate justice system. Where do we go? What happens? I think this is the, now the, 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 the right, that question prompts the right moment for me to talk about, again, the five-tire model of AJS mm. that you're going to launch in Nakuru County. Mm -hmm. So the Nakuru Working Group is operating under the CUC as the policy making organ. So you see, court users court committee. Users committee. Yes. So the working group has this uh, multi-stakeholders from the 20 agencies that I spoke about. So um, you can see all these 20 agencies mm. deal with different disputes. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're already on board because they're not the CUC. So at those different levels, they actually see if the cases that must come to court mm -hmm. and those that don't really have to go to court. And now because the working group has very busy members, in fact, we have been meeting weekly, virtually at 7 p.m. We are that hard working. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time. You can imagine having the OCPD out every week to meet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I really give a big shout out to the, to the working group. So we have a secretariat mm -hmm. that does the daily, mm -hmm. uh, the daily uh, recording. So what are the cases that um, have been uh, referred to us? And we're also working, uh, we're doing research on, so what are the autonomous groups that are out there? Mm -hmm. So that we know. So that is the third level. So now the fourth one is the autonomous groups that we have so far spoken to. The border border, the smart ladies, religious groups, the imams, council of elders, to find out what is it that they are doing. What can we learn from them? Because we are not just going to train them. We call it actually engagement and sensitization. But our, at the back of our minds, we want to make sure that the Bill of Rights is followed. Eh? So, um, so that is the autonomous and also the quota next. If you come to court and you say, I want my case... Um, had give us a chance to negotiate the case is already in court mm -hmm. 
we can have you referred to the Inakuru, the court annexed to AJS. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't want, because we don't force people, you just want to go straight to the chief, that is still okay. Mm -hmm. In Akuru, we have uh, 20, 20 police stations, and the Nakuru law courts, and two mm -hmm. police spots. Yes. That is a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of cases. And we have 11 sub counties. Mm -hmm. So you see, if you don't have to pay, pay for fair to come to court, because yeah. fair is, you know, a real, people sometimes walk to court. Yep. Mm. And your case is solved by these groups within one day. Mm. That is something really huge. Can so I, the fifth, Can I just, I know, before yes. you get to the fifth, okay. I'll remind you of the fifth. Yes. But you, then you said something I think is important. Yes. That there are those cases that for which somebody might be in remand today yes, yes. or they're in the court process. Yes. So with AGS, there is a possibility yes. of having these cases resolved yes. and terminating the court process. Is yes. that what we're saying? Yes. Okay. Immediately. Okay. Remember the Kenya Prison Service is part of the working group. Mm -hmm. And um, the secretary is actually doing remand. We had a, a wonderful, uh, in the month of March, we had a wonderful session where each magistrate went to Nakuru prison to talk to the remandees mm. uh, mm -hmm. who have cases before each of them. Mm -hmm. And we told them about uh, AJS. And so those who said they wanted to have AJS done, we took down their data. So we, now we are currently in the process of Which now referring this to, to AJS. Uh -huh. Because sometimes all they want, they've been in remand and they, are, they have reformed and they are sorry. Mm -hmm. Just that opportunity to speak to the complainant. If you are out on bond, it is easy. You will meet the complainant. Yes. But so if you are in remand, and the day you are brought to court, the complainant did not come to court. You don't then have that mm -hmm. chance. Mm -hmm. You are left at the mercy of your relatives to go and look for the complainant, and sometimes they are fed up with you. They won't find, yeah. So it is really, really powerful. Like I was saying, eh, out of the eight cases that have been sorted, five were remandies. Mm, okay. And these are people who went home the same day. It's That's amazing. amazing, actually. So yes. what's the fifth one? So the fifth <laughs> one is uh, an autonomous mm. these are people who are solving cases we may not know about them we are going to research with the hope that they will be affiliated to the nakuru working group mm. and also just to check so what they are doing so just quickly the five tire model that we are going to launch at nakuru it's unique it's not there anywhere else mm. so we are under the, C the first level is cuc the second is the working group the third is the secretariat the fourth is what you're calling now the autonomous stroke mm. quarter next ajs and the fifth is an autonomous we don't know that they exist but we want to know what they are doing we're going to have sensitization and uh, talks with them hoping that they can be now be vetted and then they join the autonomous what course. are you selling to them as a benefit why should the government know about us um when we talk to them about, when we do sensitization on what AJS is, mm. telling them that Article 159 2C of the Constitution, the word is shall, the judiciary should promote alternative justice system, you know, mm. the eyes open up. Number two, we tell them, we are not interfering with what you have been doing. Continue. Mm. Yeah? So we tell them, um, you know, when, before the colonial... In some cases, you're interfering. <laughs> no, no, because no, no. if they've been dealing in some ways where you know you will come in and start telling them it's against human rights and all i mean you've just been beating people left right and center and that's how we meet out justice but <laughs> but they appreciate uh -huh. if we have a succession case where they decide that they are disinheriting the widow we bring it to their attention it is not fair okay these days women whether you're married single inherit property so when we, we don't really call it training, we call them sensitization. Mm. So far, we have not experienced any um, resistance. resistance. Okay. And also, by the way, these people who sit to listen to the cases, the panels that we form, they're not paid. Mm. It is gonna, free. Yeah, I was going to ask what the compensation is, <laughs> if any, for those who it is free. are volunteering their time. In fact, for this. those who have been coming to Nakuru Locals for the AJS annexed, mm. we tell them, you know, if, if this... Uh, County bosses are sitting to listen to your case. They're very busy people. Mm. You're not paying anything. You know, you give it your all. Mm. Yeah. Yes. But I must have a, a question for you. You know, very many of the people who are coming to the police, yes. um, they have a level of trust. They trust that the police can handle their case. Mm. Either it can be resolved at the station level or it can be escalated. But there are very many other people who don't have trust in the police for various reasons. They have felt that, you know, the last time a case was taken to the police, then there was some collusion and we saw the person back in the community. 
or in some cases where they have accused certain individual police officers of being used to harass them. How do you deal with those in the community where there are complaints against police officers, which is eroding the trust of, in the police service? Oh, what we normally do at the station level, uh, we basically provide a neighboring environment through which parties can engage amicably. And then we also provide guidance in terms of legal interpretation of the law, the consequences of the broken law. So we are, we are trying to, to create a good relationship between the police and the community mm -hmm. by engaging them and saying this, the law says this. And, uh, and then when you broke the law, the consequences of the law. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they don't even know how the law says about a case, how do you do the cases. But we are trying to, uh, to create the good image of the, the, the police service, natural police service mm -hmm. by talking to them. And uh, when they are coming to the station, we encourage them that we are there at the natural police service to serve the community. And then, and you can see now there's a lot of change mm -hmm. that uh, they are now coming to us knowing that uh, we are there to help them. And we are there as a service okay. yeah, through the police reforms here. Yeah. Uh, Santeni. Yes. Ladies, we thank you very much for joining us and all the best with uh, the launch on Monday. Thank you. Hopefully yes. one of these days we'll come actually and just, you know, <laughs> witness and get to experience AJS mm. at work in yes. Nakuru, in Nakuru County. Just as a passing shot, just mm. 30 seconds. Mm. So Nakuru um, will be the first county to launch its action plan and we request uh, all the other counties to quickly follow suit. Okay. Nakuru is a new city and you can see we're leading from the front. Well, yeah. Finally, <laughs> number <laughs> two, salamu kwa watu wa Nakuru. Watu wa salimie. Numa wa salimie sana. Let us raise the bar high for the AJS. We send you with greetings to mm -hmm. the Honorable Justice Professor Joel Ngoge. Yes. Say hello to him. Yes. And Madam, say hello to the County Commander, yes. Madam Beatrice oh, Kiraguri. Oh, uh, she's the a message. famous, she's a famous police officer. Yes, she is. Yes. And she's doing well. Asante ni sana. Pass the information.